Well, Cody, uh, um, five straight losses. What's on your mind about this one? It's tough, you know. Uh, we didn't get a win on the road this season, and you know we don't have another opportunity to get a win on the road. So, you know, that's going to hurt a little bit. Just looking at the schedule and looking back at things, but obviously we didn't make enough plays to win the game, and you know they came out. Colorado State did a great job and moved the ball, and they held us on offense. So they did a good job. You guys were minus two of your starters on the offensive line. I'm sure you're happy with the effort and everything like that, but how much did that? really affect you guys? You know, I thought they did a great job, but we had some guys in positions that they haven't practiced all year. You know, we had to move McCauley to center, and we put Burkell and Fred at guard. You know, they did a great job fighting for every, you know, every down there fighting, but when you have a guy who's inexperienced at center, and you have some new guys coming in with not so much experience, it's, it's kind of tough to get a rhythm going. You know, you're used to the guys, especially this late in the season. Just the thought of five straight losses, first time that's happened in 13 years. And no bowl game, first time in eight. How frustrating is that? You know, it's really frustrating, especially be the quarterback associated with that. You know, obviously, uh, hopefully, we got to send the seniors out with the right way. You know, guys like Joel Batonio and Brandon Wimberly and Chase Tenpenny, seniors who, who deserve, you know, last couple victories. And can you talk a little about the defensive effort? I mean, they looked as good as they've looked all, you know, all year in the first half, and then it just kind of deteriorated in the second half. You know, obviously, I don't know much. I don't really watch too much of the defense because I'm over there making side sideline adjustments. But you know, they've done a great job of putting us in every game, every situation. You know, uh, I just think we need some more guys who can just love football and just gotta want it. You know, even when our, our record doesn't show for it, we gotta have some guys who love football and just love competing. And what do you got here? Uh, almost everything. <laughs> Just a, a rolled up ankle in the, the last play, but I'll be good. I stayed in there. When you were so, running out of bounds? Yeah. And you missed the series? Is that you got poked in the eye or something? Yeah, my eye was kind of blurry. I don't know what happened, but it was kind of blurry, and, and I knew it would go away. And so, obviously, my head was okay. I passed all the concussion tests, so there was no serious injury there. I just had to get my vision back. I felt like I was a liability out there because I remember going out there and seeing almost half the defense. So, honestly, they did the right thing. It pulled me a series. I got my vision back, and I felt good. What do you hope that the young guys who are coming back next year learn from this season? Uh, to not repeat the season, obviously, especially it being my senior year. I hope that guys understand how, how tough it is to lose and, you know, understand you know, three wins on a season is not good and missing a bowl game. And I hope they just understand the tradition that we've had here and, and just continue to build the tradition that we've had. You mentioned guys maybe, you know, loving football a little bit more. I mean, is that an issue with this, this team, just not having enough guys who are, you know, giving completely buying in, I guess. You know, I don't know if it's not enough guys. I don't think the guys understand it yet. You know, you got guys like Joel Batonio and Brandon Wimberly, great examples of guys who come out here, compete, and they just love football. They love to be on the field. And so I think some of the younger guys are guys who, you know, transferred in from JC. They don't understand how big it is and how much it, it means to guys like Brandon and, and Joel. Does that take time? I mean, did you kind of feel that way as a true freshman? I felt exactly, yeah, that's, a, you know, that you have four years and you got three more years after this. But, you know, now that I'm an older guy, I understand like, oh man, my games are dwindling down. So, you know, and you see guys like Joel and, and Brandon, once again, just, they got two games left and, and for everyone not to give their effort for those guys, you know, it kind of sucks.